Now, emotions are central to our entire experience of life. Whether or not we're happy or sad or depressed or angry is our life experience. And yet I think with all the importance that we've placed on emotions, very few people actually understand how emotions arise in our brain and body. And I mentioned brain and body because as you'll see today, emotions really capture the brain body relationship. We cannot say that emotions arise just from what happens in our head. The other thing about emotions is that there's no real agreement as to what's a good emotion or a bad emotion. And I want to raise an important point, which is about a nerve pathway that many, many people have heard of that gets discussed all the time. And that is one of the most kind of oversold for the wrong reasons and undersold, unfortunately, for its real power, which is the vagus nerve. So the vagus nerve is one, not the only, but one way in which our brain and body are connected and regulates our emotional state. 